excitement builds, Tommy, ahead of the first game of the season. What are your thoughts ahead of that? Same as everybody else, really. Lots of anticipation. Um, antici- anticipation and, 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 you know, hope, really. For hoping that the, the fact that the work we've put in in the last sort of six weeks is going to bear fruit. It, it, you know, it's, it's uh, something we, we put a lot of preparation into the, the pre-season. And sometimes it goes really well. Sometimes it goes not at all well. And on other occasions, you have ups and downs. And I think this one's been quite, quite a level sort of, you know, trajectory in terms of what we've done from when we come back. We've picked up one or two knocks and niggles along the way. Um, but in the, in, on the whole, um, I think we've got a re- relatively fit and fighting group to pick from for the, for the first games that we, we're going to face. And looking at those opponents, Forest Green Rovers, obviously relegated last season from League Two. Does that make things a little different because it's not one of the teams we played last year or does that not really come into it at all? I mean, we could look at what they did last season in terms of their performance and stuff, but obviously Steve's very different in in his approach to the the guy before him. Um, And they brought him in for one reason and one reason only, and that's to get them back out of the division and back in the AFL. So I don't know how many seasons they've spent up there, but it's it's been quite a few. And at times they've looked comfortable and gone on from League Two. So... Look, we're not expecting any easy games this season at all, uh, you know, and at the beginning of the season, everybody's got their hopes and their aspirations, their dreams even. Um, we just look at it one game. So we haven't got a, we're eyes on the next prize, if you like. It's, it's about opening uh, the campaign as quickly as we can, get off zero points. If we can get three, we'll be over the moon. If we have to take one, then we take that and we'll try and try avoid losing at all costs. Things got off to a very good start last season at home, didn't they, with that win over Oxford mm-hmm. City? Hopefully the same sort of stuff this this weekend, perhaps. Well, you never know. I mean, but at the end of the day, you know, you can't read too much into the first result, whether it's a positive one, a negative one, or you know, it's a draw. So both teams, like I said, will have worked on different things for the six weeks or so we've been back to training. Um, and one, one thing's for sure: neither team will be promoted or relegated after our game. So whatever the expectations are on Friday night, I hope they're the same on Saturday night. Perhaps a few headaches in terms of selection. Now you have to obviously move that well that squad into. I know they're larger squads, match day squads this year, but move that into a what is it a, a, a quick maths there eighteen. So a few headaches maybe perhaps. Well, uh, yeah, but good ones to be honest. I mean, I've got choices in at least two choices in most positions, um, even with a couple of three injuries that we have. So yeah, I mean. There's going to be lads disappointed because they're not going to start the game, but there'll be probably at least five lads who are disappointed at two o'clock will get part of the game before five o'clock. So, you know, it's all cliches already here at day one. And it's, it is about the squad. It's not about the start in 11 or the finish in 11. It's about the whole lot. Our approach, like I said, we've built up um, a real good spirit, a good ethos around the training ground. I think our brand of football is 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 identifiable by the way we, we attack games or we try to and that will not change. We've worked hard at trying to eradicate too many easy goals and that's not just goalkeeping, that's that's the whole team, you know, from the front to the back. So hopefully people will, will identify the changes that we've made. Um, obviously the new personnel have got a chance to become new heroes, if you like, for, for the Shots fans. Um, and I'm sure we've got one or two new faces that will do really well for us. But like I said, I'm all about the, the collective and the, the collective intention is to win games. And that's from me at the top of the club, right down to the, the tea lady making my tea over there. And whilst we get 23 home games a season, I'm sure it doesn't matter where they are. Having a home game at the start of the season is always great, isn't it? It helped us last year and, and well, with more season ticket sales, hopefully we'll get a, a very good crowd in on Saturday. Yeah, the, the back end since I've been at the club has been fantastic. And we, we had some really good individual moments last season. Um, which led to, you know, really good campaigns both in the league and in the FA Cup. So, you know, from my point of view, the Hampshire Cup and the FA Trophy are both competitions we should be in and around the mix at the end of it. So, if that's a progression, that's that's a start. But uh, ultimately, I just think as long as we are continue to go an upward trend, which I think we are on and off the pitch, um, I'll be happy with that. And if we can improve on our position in the league, then we'll get to where everybody wants us to get to.